Does your body get goosebumps when you hear the words Ford Mustang? Then we have fantastic news because Ford just pulled a gutsy and potentially historic move with creating the new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. This could be the last gas snorting pony car as EV dominance is around the corner. Join us as we go deep in the technical aspects of the new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Ford has confirmed that the 5.0 liter Coyote V8 in the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse will produce exactly 500 horsepower and 418 pound foot of torque when running on premium fuel. The Dark Horse is the most potent non-Shelby Mustang ever. According to reports, it has the deepest engine roar ever heard in a Ford Mustang. Don't believe me? Then just listen to this monster. With the 2001 debut of the bullet edition of Ford's groundbreaking pony car, the company has not released a new named sub-brand variation. With the potent new Mustang Dark Horse variant, the 7th generation 2024 Ford Mustang puts a stop to this protracted dry spell. The Dark Horse is a real performance modification that serves as the cornerstone for Ford Blue's combustion vehicle racing endeavors. It is not just an aesthetic upgrade with cold air induction useful for a few extra horsepower and pound feet. Dark Horse is a limited family of hotter, fast black Mustangs that offers various performance improvements to meet each individual's preference for comfort, style, and speed. You might have the question, but how fast is it? Well, without reliable real-world data on horsepower or torque, our crystal ball is a little cloudy in this situation. But it is obvious that the streamlined race-only models will be faster. However, Let's assume that the Coyote 5.0 liter is powering this 3,900 pound monster, which is equipped with aluminum wheels, with 500 horsepower and 425 pound feet of torque, outperforming both the current Mach 1, 470 by 410, and the 2020 Bullet, 480 by 420. And coming close to the output of the flat plane ferocious Shelby GT 350 5.2 liter. 526 by 429. In that circumstance, we would anticipate a Dark Horse automatic to reach 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds or less. A twin throttle body, cold air intake, and a higher revving valve train that does not support cylinder deactivation are just a couple of the performance improvements made to the Generation 4 Coyote V8 found in the base 2024 Mustang in order to ensure emissions compliance in all applications. In order to handle higher cylinder pressures and piston speeds, Dark Horse upgrades this foundation by adding a forged crankshaft and a piston connecting rods. These components are comparable to those in the Predator supercharged engine of the Shelby GT500. The camshafts are reinforced to endure prolonged operations closer to the red line of 7,500 RPM, shared with the GT and higher than the red line of 6,700 RPM on the F-150. To increase endurance during intense running, there are auxiliary coolers for the engine oil and rear axle lubrication as well as a lighter, higher efficiency radiator cooled by more potent fans. The optional active exhaust system for the GT is included here, with settings for regular, sport and track conditions. The goal was 100 horsepower per liter, but final testing has not yet been completed. You do the math. The Tremic TR3166 speed manual transmission utilized in the Shelby GT350 and Mach 1 has been adapted for use in the Dark Horse. It is moved by a shift ball made of anodized titanium that was 3D printed to include cooling air channels and reduce thermal bulk. Basic Mustangs are equipped with a get rag manual that is finished with a plain knob. The 10-speed automatic with an extra transmission oil cooler and anodized metallic shift paddles is the choice for those seeking the fastest dark horse. With gearing of 3.73 by 1 for manual transmissions and 3.55 by 1 for automatic transmissions, a typical torsion differential ensures the Coyote's rear paws are operating at maximum traction. The 255 by 40 front 
and 275 by 40 rear Pirelli P0 PZ4 tires mounted on the 9.5 x 19 inch and 10.0 x 19 inch front and rear wheels also contribute to that. These are the GT Performance Package tires. Magnaride Standard Shocks also assist in controlling weight transfer, maintain tire pressure on the road, and continuously assess the trade-off between steady-state ride comfort and quick responses during braking, accelerating, or turning. Six piston calipers up front chew on large 15.4-inch two-piece rotors, which are cooled by NAACA ducts. Four piston calipers and 14.0-inch discs are used for the rear brakes, while a secondary electromechanical caliper serves as the electric parking brake. The drift brake feature is standard, just like it is on GT cars, co-developed with two-time Formula Drift champion Von Gidden Jr. and EcoBoost with performance package. It offers a true handbrake that, when track mode is activated, directs the ABS to only provide hydraulic pressure in proportion to the handbrake travel to the rear brakes. To considerably increase the front end rigidity and boost steering accuracy and feel, standard dark horse equipment includes a larger rear anti-roll bar, heavy-duty front shocks, an upper strut tower brace, and a lower K brace. The optional Magnaride shocks for the GT measure wheel tire motion a thousand times per second and adjust the ride and handling to the selected drive mode. With these gearings, Torsen Differential ensures the Coyote's rear paws are operating at maximum traction. Mounted on a 9.5 x 19 inch and 10.0 x 19-inch front and rear wheels also contribute to that. These are the GT Performance Package tires. Magnaride standard shocks also assist in controlling weight transfer, maintain tire pressure on the road, and continuously assess the trade-off between steady-state ride comfort and quick responses during braking, accelerating, or turning. To considerably increase the front end rigidity and boost steering accuracy and feel, standard dark horse equipment includes a larger rear anti-roll bar, heavy-duty front shocks, an upper strut tower brace, and a lower K brace. Carbon Revolution wheels will be offered as a standalone option, exclusive to the handling package and size to accept those tires. These wheels weigh 35 to 40 percent less than the conventional cast aluminum wheels. There will be two styles available, one in plain black and one with subdued blue accent fiber weaved in. With a different offset than the Shelby GT350 wheels, they are also distinctive. The headlamps up front have been dimmed and are enclosed in a shadow graphic. Literal versions of the main Dark Horse grille form, the grille mesh apertures are themselves gloss black and have distinctive trapezoidal side intakes at each feed and intake airbox. Gloss black fangs are incorporated into the distinctive front fascia. There are rear diffuser, darker quad exhaust tips, and side skirts. A stylized horseshoe, positioned up for luck, surrounds a threatening, forward-facing horse head on special dark horse insignia. These are located on the deck lid and fenders. Exclusive to the model, blue amber metallic paint, applied, decal, or painted stripe packages, and an appearance package with dark notorious blue brake calipers bearing grabber blue insignia will also be offered. A distinctive welcome illumination animation is also present. The drive mode button is conveniently located within reach of the Mustang Dark Horse's thick-rimmed, flat-bottom steering wheel, which is covered in suede and adorned with brilliant indigo blue stitching. The door panels and seats are accented with additional blue stitching, but for the most interior blue, Choose the appearance package's deep indigo blue seats, with perforations that show even more blue. Recaro seats can still be ordered, in a dark metallic finish called Black Alley. Other inside trim and bezels are completed. Each dark horse also comes equipped with a custom welcome animation on the screens and a B&O sound system with 12 speakers and a subwoofer. Nobody knows exactly how much the dark horse will cost, but we expect the premium model would land somewhere between today's Mac 1 and 2020 Shelby GT350. So, around $48,000 to $50,000. Do you think it's worth it? Let us know in the comments section. And while you're at it, like this video and subscribe to be notified on all our Ford Mustang videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon in the next one.